Mio Kaku once remarked that we need to rewrite our textbooks about the beginning of the universe. Since the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope, this claim has become increasingly important. Anticipation for the release of images from this advanced telescope has been enormous, and now that these images are available, they reveal unusual processes in space that challenge our scientific understanding. Not only have our theories about the origin of the universe been tested, but even exoplanets have begun to challenge our understanding of physics and completely turn our thinking around. This paradigm shift has led scholars to re-examine long-held beliefs and explore new theories in response to these provocations. Currently, we are witnessing a complete reversal of the old rules of science. The James Webb Space Telescope is changing our understanding of the universe, and every new image from this marvel of space exploration is groundbreaking. Named after James Webb, who was not a scientist but came from a business background, the telescope turned out to be a game-changer. As head of NASA in the 1960s, Webb significantly advanced space travel, launching the Apollo program and promoting space probes. Today's scientists are amazed by the capabilities of the telescope named after this pioneer. The images are so clear and sharp that they take our breath away, providing for the first time a complete analysis of exoplanets thousands of light years away. The telescope shows our scientific community that they have relied too long on outdated findings and ideas. At first, many scientists experience uncertainty and discomfort because everything they believed in can now be proven wrong. Popular American astrophysicist Mio Kaku is one of the researchers who is optimistic about these new developments. Kaku has long argued that our previous theories were flawed. The failure to connect the world of subatomic particles with the world of merely formed matter shows that we have not fully understood the fundamental processes of the universe. Now even exoplanets violate the laws of physics. At first, only ancient galaxies did not fit into our cosmological models. Then came black holes and giant structures over 13 billion years old, dating back to when the universe was said to be in its infancy. Now even the planets defy our previous understanding. The latest images from the James Webb Space Telescope show exoplanets that challenge our previous ideas about how planets formed. With its keen eye and unique spectrometer, the telescope has re-examined some of the strangest known exoplanets. The instruments can break down even the weakest light signals into individual components, analyzing trace elements, gases, the presence of water and parameters that indicate the size and orbits of distant planets. Along the way, Webb discovers more anomalies, extremes and crazier planets. Point one notable example of impossible worlds defying the laws of physics is K2-18b, a superhot Neptune orbiting so close to its star that its surface temperature is high enough to break apart water molecules into atomic hydrogen. Therefore, the star's extreme proximity leads to a phenomenon scientists call atmospheric blowing, where the planet's atmosphere is literally blown away by the star. This discovery is unique among all known planetary atmospheres and represents a significant challenge. Webb finds so many exceptions and extremes that it is statistically impossible. K2-18b is so strange that it is almost impossible to classify and represents a striking exception to all the rules we have defined. Let's look at another world that terrifies scientists. WASP 76b, a giant exoplanet raining iron from the night sky. The planet orbits its star in a tidally locked orbit, resulting in extremely hot and cold sides. Metals melted and vaporized on one side by a hot day solidify into iron on the other and then fall as rain to the ground. Once again, scientists are dealing with extreme conditions that impressively demonstrate the physical processes of exoplanets and raise more questions than answers. The discovery of planets that orbit their stars in the opposite direction to other planets in the same system is particularly exciting and confusing. Such discoveries force astronomers to rethink theories about the dynamics of planetary systems and the forces that determine their orbits. Wasp 17b is an example of such a world. Discovered by the Wide Angle Search for Planets, WASP, the exoplanet is a huge gas giant similar to our Jupiter, but orbiting its star in a retrograde direction opposite to the rotation of the star. This was considered scientifically impossible according to current theories of planet formation, according to which all planets in the system would have to orbit in the same direction as they formed from the original protoplanetary disk. One theory to explain such orbits is that gravitational perturbations from nearby stars 
or other massive planets can significantly change a planet's orbit after it is formed. Another possibility is that the gravitational dance between several large planets could push one or more into a retrograde orbit. Interestingly, to find strange planets we need look no further than our own solar system. Dwarf planet 2018 VG18 can be found in the Kuiper Belt, where scans have shown it to be unusually dark and red. Web spectrometers show that this planet is likely rich in complex organic compounds that scientists call tholins. Despite its remarkable size and characteristic, 2018 VG18 remains unnamed because its exact orbit has yet to be determined. Its likely composition, abundance of organic materials that are the building blocks of life, and unusual color do not match other dwarf planets in the Kuiper Belt. This raises the question, where did this planet come from? How did it happen? And why is it so hard to spot? Due to its great distance, accurate and long-term observation of 2018 VG18 will be extremely difficult even with our best telescopes. It is perhaps the third largest dwarf planet after Pluto and Ericsson, and scientists consider it a prime target for understanding the dynamic processes of the Kuiper Belt and the evolution of the solar system. But what about planets without a star? Is it possible? Would you believe that there are planets without stars? Planets usually form in disks of dust and gas left behind by star formation, which remain gravitationally bound to their star. But Vagabond Planets shows that this is not always the case. These cosmic loners drift freely through space without a star. But where do they come from and how can they survive the hostile cold of space? Wandering planets can form in different ways. One common method is for their parent stars to exit the system through dynamical interactions with other planets or by passing nearby stars whose gravitational forces are strong enough to pull the planets out of orbit. Another possibility is that they formed as isolated objects in the star formation region, but without sufficient mass to initiate stellar nuclear fusion processes. It may also explain the existence of Jupiters, which are Jupiter-like objects that have not accumulated enough mass to initiate nuclear fusion and become stars. Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system, was just shy of the mass needed to trigger these processes. The James Webb Space Telescope shocked the scientific community again when it discovered 80 such Jupiter-mass planets in the Orion Nebula. The strange aspect of this discovery is the almost unbelievable fact that these 80 planets formed 40 binary systems, which means that in the relatively closed space of the Orion Nebula, there are 40 pairs of transiting planets that orbit each other. This is strange and scientifically improbable. The large number of these planets may be due to the fact that the Orion Nebula is one of the most powerful star-forming regions known. However, more detailed studies have shown that these objects are not real planets, but in the mass between planets and brown dwarfs. This indicates that they are failed stars, as brown dwarfs are the smallest known stars. But what processes in the Orion Nebula cause these failed stars to behave like planets and dance freely through space and binary systems? This is another extreme challenge for our researchers. These objects will probably constitute a class of their own surpassing the limits of our astrophysics. It is possible that such massive free-floating objects are much more common in the universe than we thought. They may be normal but unusual to us because we were previously unaware of their existence. We have not been able to detect exoplanets in the depths of space for a very long time, and studying them has always been difficult. The James Webb Space Telescope is a milestone in this regard. We rejoice in these discoveries but new phenomena and impossible discoveries confound scientists. Nothing is what they expected. Is science over? The James Webb Space Telescope was designed to fill gaps in our knowledge and confirm existing theories. Instead of closing the gaps, its findings tear new holes in what we think is true. Some now say that the crisis triggered by Webb marks the end of our old science. As Mio Kaku said, we need to rewrite our textbooks. But what should be written in them now? No consistent new answers have yet been found, and scientists are desperately searching for new explanations. Unlike its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope, which primarily observes visible and ultraviolet wavelengths, JWST is optimized for infrared observations. This feature allows it to look through clouds of cosmic dust, study the formation of stars and galaxies, 
and even characterized the atmospheres of distant exoplanets. One of JWST's main scientific goals is to unravel the mysteries surrounding the origin of the universe by studying the light of the most distant galaxies. The telescope can provide insight into the early stages of cosmic evolution immediately after the Big Bang. This includes understanding how the first stars and galaxies formed and how they influenced the evolution of the universe over billions of years. I, in addition to exploring the distant universe, JWST is poised to change our understanding of exoplanets, or planets that orbit stars outside our solar system. The sensitive instruments of the telescope can analyze the atmosphere of an exoplanet in unprecedented detail. By detecting chemical signatures in these atmospheres, scientists can look for possible indicators of habitability and even signs of life. The study of exoplanets is one of the most exciting frontiers of modern astronomy, and JWST's contribution to the field is expected to be transformative. JWST's journey to becoming a scientific powerhouse was not without its challenges. The development and construction of the telescope encountered many technical and financial obstacles that caused delays and cost overruns. However, the dedication and determination of the international team of scientists, engineers, and space agencies involved in the project finally paid off. The telescope was successfully launched into space and placed at the second Lagrange point, L2, a gravitationally stable location approximately 1.5 million kilometers, about a million miles, from Earth. This vantage point offers an unobstructed view of the universe and minimizes interference from Earth's heat and light, allowing JWST to operate with unparalleled precision and sensitivity. The successful launch and deployment of JWST was an important milestone in space exploration. The telescope's intricate origami-like structure, complete with a large, segmented primary mirror and sunshade, unfolded perfectly, showcasing the remarkable engineering feats that made this mission possible. When JWST became operational, it began its scientific mission capturing stunning images of celestial bodies and revealing the cosmos in unprecedented detail.